This is a low rider in the crew too. I am super excited to jump in and have a look at this thing. I have realistically i've not seen anything i've been blinding myself all day to try and get this now it is part of a bundle so you know how we do we're gonna get the bloody bundle obviously weirdly this car seems like it's only gonna be available for six days am i correct in saying that i'm not sure maybe the car's actually purchasable outside of but it's usually that's the case now there's a new thing on the channel I would like to make you aware of if you want to support me a little bit more. The join button down below has been there a while, but it helps me out massively. Just wanted to let you know that I've added some new perks to it. So go and check it out. See what you think. Now, without further ado, we're going to test this baby. Here she is. Right, let's start her up. And she sounds pretty meaty. Look, listen to that rumble in the background. That is awesome. Let's get it popping. Now, this car... It has already so it sounds super classic super old school as you would expect the turnability <laughs> already really 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 fantastic now of course you you you're, you're like me you want to know does the thing boppity bop does it hop does it and if it doesn't i ain't bloody buying it of course i don't know if it does or not i bought it to show you if it does so let's see how we can oh my goodness <laughs> So it does seem that we're only able to do the front and back bops, but we can drive down the road, big pimping style. <laughs> That's actually sick. I am so happy. I was a little bit worried that that wasn't even going to be a thing. I thought they were just going to add a lowrider and not do anything with it. But listen, lowrider battles is where we need to go next. I don't care what you do next. You can do your motor flicks all you like, but I want lowrider battles, GTA San Andreas style. That was fantastic. And I don't know why more games don't do it. So we have got approved of the hydraulics. You can go buy it. The crew credits are cheap. I'm pretty sure it's going to be cheap in real money as well. I mean, fake money. It's too many currency. I want to do an experiment. So if we pull this up and then we start doing... Oh my God, come on. <laughs> That's sick. You can make it. Is this not the coolest thing ever? Look at it. Boppity bop. It's hopping and doing it. Don't stop. Let's do some burnouts. <laughs> with wheelies included. I am so happy with this. This, this, I was genuinely, I wasn't honestly expecting there to be, I was, you know, I was one of those, I was, I was hoping, I was praying, I was, maybe it's going to be a thing. Maybe they're going to do it. Maybe they're going to, even if it's not in, maybe the last minute they'll be like, all right, but there was a cheeky little update that dropped maybe like two weeks ago. And I was like, listen, you already know that must be finalizing this pack. But would you look at that? I'm so happy. All right. Now we need to know, is there any upgrades that we can do to this car? Visually, performance, let's get it. I mean, I should hope so because it's a hippity hoppity going to stop it. And I'm a hippity hopping my foot up your booty pipe. How dare you? How dare you disrespect me like this? Now we've got white walls, so I don't want to do no touch it, but I'm, I'm going to say kind of disappointed by that. I was hoping that we would actually be able to do a little bit of spice to it, like a nice little blower on the front, change some of it to carbon even, just very small bits, but it is, of course, an addition car, so generally, they don't let us touch those addition cars, so I should have kind of expected. I did not say, I said off. Go back to normal. But what we can do, of course, is deliveries. Now, I'm going to see what the community has come up with. Of course, that's actually very, very clever. This is trying to be based upon the the special one we're going to unlock in the summit. And I am damn right going to be unlocking this. That looks awesome. It looks better on the preview where you can see that there's like a shadow but it's kind of separated a little bit. Very spicy. We've got this. Blue flames would have been even cooler. This is also fantastic. I like it. I wish somebody had just done a very simple livery. Ooh. Where it was the same, but we could change the color. Can we actually just change the color? We can't change the color. So if we could just have this livery in multiple colors, that would make my day. Oh, mate. That very simple but very cool. I'm actually going to put that on. That looks really, really nice. And we'll go back to the vanity items just because, of course, we've got 
the tire smoke, which needs to come off. And then I should take it off. And confirm off. We're going to go for some nice nitro. We've got ni yellow nitro. I'm going to keep the yellow nitro. We've got this underglow stuffs to go through. Of course, we've got some special ones that we got from the summits and the like. This is also always going to be one of my favorites, but we're going to go for the red just because it makes so much more sense. We got the tint on the windows. That black tint adds a little bit of spice. So we're currently at 164. It actually felt pretty quick for a 164 bloody car. Let's smash it through. 280, you already know. <laughs> what the frick? What the hell are you doing? That's, that's, I was not expecting that, to be honest. Okay. Let's now try some more speed and power down the road. Let's see what we can get out of this hoppity boy. Now, this is already feeling pretty quick. I like, I wish we kind of bop, we could bop side to side, but unfortunately, it seems like it's just gonna be the up and down. <laughs> but that's okay. As long as we have the ability to do the hippity hop at all, I'm gonna go and say, I love you ivory tower. Please expand on this. I need more. Now, normally I would do a race or something, but quite frankly, this thing, it doesn't handle greatly. It, it understeers at high speeds and oversteers at low speeds, which is just, it's, it's, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. I've got some other things I want to try with this car, and I think it's probably going to make it even cooler. So at the minute, I'm not really able to stably pull off a slide while the wheels are up in the air. It's too grippy. And luckily, the tuning is in the game. If we go over to performance and pro settings, a lot of you might even not know that this is a thing. So ESP, off. Drift assist, off. Traction control, off. That's how. We're, that's all we're going to do to start. Now we've got everything off, we should be able to pull off a little bit better slide. So turning off drift assist basically allows us to pull better slides off but make them not as easy. Now, they have changed the handling since, so it may still be a little bit uh, difficult to pull off a scooter, but I'm gonna do my best. Here we go. Let's get it. It's still gripping. <laughs> right, you wanna play hardball, do ya? How about we take, where is it? Tire grip rear all the way down. Yep, that's working. <laughs> hey, this is not gonna go well at all in terms of handleability. But in terms of pulling off some beautiful slides, this is going to look bonkers. Here we go. I wish we had a free camp. Oh! <laughs> yes, that is the coolest thing ever. I'm going to use the helicopter, the helicopter, to jump into airfield. Because then we've got a little bit more room to have a bit of a play. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yes. And it's still gripping at the front. So we have a little bit. It's a shame that it's rear wheel drive in this case. Because to be honest... We could have a crazy little play with it with other drivetrain abilities. <laughs> but this, my friends, this is the most balling whip that they've added in a long time of the crew too. <laughs> I feel like it should flip any second. Another cool feature about the crew, we're gonna go to the replay mode. I wanna see my spicy slide. Now, it's already gonna pre-select some camera angles for us to look at, but let's have a look. See, those front wheels are definitely bopping through the floor. <laughs> Oh my god, those slides are absolutely perfect. I, <laughs> I want more of this in my life. This is a really good, very simple video editing mode. Oh, it's done a slow-mo for us. And we can also go in and pick and choose little bits. And so you've, you've already seen it. The crew two two years old. But I know a lot of you have actually only just jumped back or jumped into the crew for one of the first times. This looks tremendous. Now, I do want to play with it a little bit more. I'm going to take the front tire grip all the way down. And we've got aero distribution, so you can choose all of that. You've got suspension, reverb, and the like, ABS. I'm just going to pull off all grip whatsoever. I say all grip, most of the grip, because quite frankly, if there was none, we wouldn't be moving as we are. So let's pull some of the widest skids you've ever seen. Is it going to actually let us? Oh, <laughs> that is sick. What if we do some more donuts like we did before? Can we actually do donuts? We can't even do donuts properly. We can't get enough speed. We can't just like have full grip and then no grip. Unfortunately, it's no grip all the time or full grip all the time. That would be a cool setting to just play around with. Oh, <laughs> okay. I've had my fun with this car. 
I hope that becomes more to do with these cars. We could have some proper low rider dance battles and the like. Of course, we can't hippity hop into the side like I would like like it to. I'm trying to make it sound hoppity. Hippity hoppity like -ity. Schmeichity. I do think it's a missed opportunity to even have just a normal event available where everybody's in low riding, hopping along the road the whole time. That would be pretty sweet. But I think we're going to have to try it just to properly solidify what I believe in terms of the handling and such. So let's go to St. George. We've done that. Let's do one we haven't done before. This one. I'm all for completionism. I'm, have I ever 100% the game? Other than need for speed heat. No. Oh, it's in the rain as well. Perfect. The best way to test a vehicle that was already under steery, over steery. Let's do a wheelie from the start. Look how fast I am. I'm doing wheelies from the start. I, I swear. I swear to you, we've done this event 50 times. That ain't even in a lie. Now, does it actually affect the handling of the car in a race when you start hopping up and down? I don't think so, actually. I think it completely ignores. I think it reduces some of the turning circle temporarily. First, I knew you could do because it. if you put it in the full corner, it doesn't really react properly. You almost get like a semi-side hop while you're trying to do it, though. You can see it's slightly going up at the side. Focus on the road, man! Oh my- I'm now dead last, and I realize I haven't even touched the interior yet. But the beautiful orange interior. I'm interested to see what the new Summit car is going to be like. Oh my god, this game looks good in the rain. I say that every game looks better in the rain, but the, the, I think the rain in this game, they did a very good job with it. I'm all for a South Central update for the Crew 2. The Crew 2 South Central. Come on. I'm not the only one. I know for a fact, and this is definitely not an event I've done before because very clearly my lines are a little bit sloppy. It's very gripped. In considering that it is peeing it down with rain right now, it is very, very gripped to the road at these low speeds. And at the high speeds, even more so. So it's definitely lost its slidey trait. You can obviously get that back by messing around with the traction control and the like. But I feel like that's something to... I don't. I've, I can't ever say I've ever driven a car with hydraulics. Or even bags, to be honest. I haven't driven a car with bags on it. Maybe with, like, manufacturer lift assist, all that rubbish. But not proper bags. Is this how a car with bags would handle? Because if so... Ah! I genuinely thought I was going to die for a second. I thought that was it. I thought it was a write-off. I thought it was the end for my Chevy Low Rider. Yeah. Just bop. Just bop. Let's go. Let's not try and fight against physics. Let's fight with physics. Use the... Yes! That's a good point. If you had a spoiler that was at a certain angle to cause drag and you did this, would it break faster? <laughs> It's beautiful. It's hydraulics. We, they were ahead of the time. The manufacturers now want to do hydraulics on their wings. Well, you're a bit late to the party. Does it actually make it slide a little bit more if you bop the back up as you come out of a turn? Let's try it. No. <laughs> Hang on. It, it does feel like it slows down. I don't know if it's just the camera or if it's physically slowing the car down. No, it's the camera. Get out of my face, bud here. So I'm not going to suggest this as a race car. I'm going to suggest this as a car that you get for... Let's be real. If you're going to get this car, you're not getting it for the sake of racing it. If you are, you're a bit of a baboon. Maybe you're just a very good baboon, and that's totally good, but you're still a baboon. I'm sorry to let you to let you know on that. But I'm not going to suggest it for driving. For fun, though, do it, mate. Do it. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to smash like. Let me know your builds that you come up with down below. Show me the pimp of the pimp liveries that you got hopefully they add this ability to a few other cars as well they need a low rider update smash like if you agree subscribe if you're new i'll see you in the next video peace